Um, uh, where I wanted to go was, uh, let's talk about Mighty Mouse, okay? Him and Borg. And this guy, I don't know why he can't get any respect, not just from Dana White and the UFC, can't get any respect anywhere, you know? He's not a big I'll, draw. I'll tell you why. Tell me. I'll tell you one of the reasons why. He, you were talking a lot about how great John Jones is. Yeah. He's great, but I don't think he's one of the best fighters. I truly don't. I think um, there are a lot of guys that are way better um, based on the competition that they beat and how they beat them. And um, I don't think Jones is one of the best. I think Mighty Mouse, although he's not my favorite fighter, is the best fighter in the UFC currently. His victories are flawless. Right. And not only does he finish everyone, but he constantly... Except his last one. But yeah. Except his last one, but he constantly, constantly gets better. Doesn't yeah. matter if you're like um, Henry, like a world class. You could be an Olympic wrestler. It doesn't matter. He'll beat you in the clinch. He'll take you down. If you're yeah. a world class striker, he's going to outstrike you. Right. He just is one of the, and he's the best scrambler, hands down. Yeah. In any weight class to ever fight in the UFC. Yeah. But agree. you look at a guy that um, he can't sell a fight to save his life. Right. If he does have anything on social media, it's about him playing video games. He's not, he's not building a business. He's not building a brand. Unless he's getting paid by these video game people, which, yeah, you know what, then so be it. He's getting paid by video game people, but he's not getting the respect in the fight Xbox, world. Xbox, right? It's, a, it's called Twitch. It's a live streaming thing. You Just in case you guys I, are wondering I, I who actually, we're talking to, we're talking to R10. I want him to bring up an interesting point. Our engineer. I want him to our man who controls us all. <laughs> Come, come say hello, R10. No, let, let him bring up an interesting point about uh, Mighty Mouse. What we always say about how people need to be, yeah. Okay. Let him, this is actually a really interesting point. Him and I discussed this before, and it's an interesting point as to why Mighty Mouse might not get to low. Sit down. My whole thing with like being a draw, I don't think it has anything to do. Obviously, you have to win fights. That's at the end of the day, that's what it's really important. But I think you have to be influential, and people want to have to be. They want to be like you. Like, people want to be Connor. You look at Instagram and every guy is posing like him, dressing like him, throwing captions the like The watches, him. the jets, yeah. the cars, And the, then Habib, the like, you want to, you strive to be like him. Not like a mirror him, but just how humble he is. That's why he's popular to Kafkazi people. And then a guy like Luke didn't capitalize on what he had with the looks and like the girls. You have to be someone that people want to be, I think. And DJ is just too nice of a guy, too normal. Where it's yeah. like you, like I'm yeah. like DJ. I'm a nice guy. I'm a, I'm nice. We understand I play games. Let me tell you, Luke capitalized a lot, especially on the women, and and he made a lot of money. He um, could have a lot more, like on his Instagram. At least on his social media. At least to us, to, to the naked eye, to the fans. Uh, he could have been Instagram. like the pretty boy, you know. Yeah, yeah. But he, didn't but he started like at one point he there was like a switch and he started preaching this uh believe or chi or yeah. all this stuff and it was it, it was like it, it felt out of character it didn't sound like, like he believed it, did, it yeah, when it he said it, it, it so he was like he said it under his breath and it was like awkward there's like an awkwardness when the camera went on him but when he had that that thing with the girls and then he posted the picture yeah, of the belts had a three so i said that that's him yeah. and that was cool but pe people like bad people nowadays exactly that's what it is that's why people like john jones and people boo dc people that's like why you know people. that's what it is they like People Especially like bad. People so. always like bad people. Always That's like why it. WWE made so much money. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I think. Uh, okay. That's it. So DJ just isn't the guy. He sh he should be a person that we all want strive to be, but he just in this day and age, teenagers, people in their twenties aren't looking at him like oh, I want to be like him. They don't look they don't up to that pot like somebody like DC. But exactly. right. like DJ could have been like a little gangster walking around in suits and but that's not him. Yeah, he but he, that's he not him. It. That's not him. I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. What, I think it's the same what? thing that's been happening throughout history. Weight makes a difference. All right, heavyweights make a difference. Heavyweights have always been something people like to watch. Okay. Yes, he doesn't have the bad guy attitude like Conor McGregor uh, and stuff like that. But I don't, no one really cares about lightweights. They never really have. It definitely has to do with the size. You're it right has about to do that. with that. But you know what? I've been to you've you've been to UFC fights. Of course. Now it depends on where you're sitting. If you're sitting up front, you're sitting with people 
who are uh, close to the league, they know people, they understand. But if you go back in the nosebleed sections, there are some fucking stupid MFs that have no idea about for fighting. For sure. Oh and my God. They have no respect for a great fighter like uh, Mighty Mouse. He is an amazing fighter. I agree with you. He's up there with, with John Jones. I think he's amazing. On top of it, he cleans his fucking gym. Oh, I'm cursing. I'm so, I'm so. I people feel, are gonna, they're gonna he, like you more because you're cursing. Yeah, that's what he people like. He cleans his gym. You know, he cleans his gym. He's a champion. No one has even come close to beating him, and he cleans the gym like he's some new kid who just started. Yeah. yeah. You have guys like Nick Diaz that aren't even active that smoke pot all day and they have a cult following and right. I'm one of them. Right. He's one of my favorite fighters. Right. You know, but um There you go. There you go. It, there you go. DJ is a great person. He's an amazing so fighter. So what does that say about He's our not society? Sellable. Do you guys think that that's oh, an error? Our society we're done. Do you yeah. guys think we're, that that's an done. error that we're going that's a phase that we're going through or do you think it's always been like No, it's always, always been, like, been that. like that. It's always been like that. It's just our society. What about GSP? Has you know, it said, we, how does we, that has we'd rather we'd rather it's always been like that. People always, so, people would rather uh, love the idea of things than love than love the fact, you know. And Demetrius Johnson is a fact. He's amazing. He's fact. He's an amazing fighter. He's an amazing person. He's an amazing individual in all aspects. So here's the thing. People don't care about DJ that. is so nice. His opponents can't even find it. They can't even find it in a way to talk shit. Right. Where you just mentioned GSP never cursed. He doesn't have to. All his opponents right. curse. They all, Nick Diaz, whoever it is, they all are going, you know, they're all GSP selling the fight. GSP, GSP doesn't have fights. to sell the fight. But, his opponents uh, sell it. If GSP was around today, maybe he wouldn't have that much uh, uh, success. I disagree. I think if you're he fought different person, caliber of fighters. So I disagree. at the time when GSP was relevant, he was the best fighter of all times ever to do it. Um, I understand, but the, he beat he beat guys. You know, even though like he didn't finish his last couple of fights, the reason why is look at the guys that he was fighting. Right. He, you know, those are the best in the world, and they were very hard to finish for a reason. I think a lot of those fighters were one dimensional. I don't think they were the best in the world. Definitely the best. No, oh, man, the best. The Matt best. Hughes was a great grappler. No, I'm not talking about Matt Hughes. Don't forget, I'm talking about his recent last few fights. If you look at like from Carlos Condit, Nick Diaz, Johnny Hendricks, all, all those fights, his last four or five, those are the best guys Jake in, Shield, in the world. Josh Koscheck, all those guys, you say one dimensional round, they're all dangerous in their own ways. They all pose a threat. Dan Hardy. Yeah, but I think, the, ta Hardy. I think the talent today is... Thiago different. Alves, at, and at the time that I he think fought the him, I think man. Those guys that he mentioned, although they're good and have knockout power, I don't think that they're the best. I think like a guy like Thiago Alves, which is an amazing striker. Um, who's the other guy you just mentioned? Um, Jake Shield, no, Dan, Dan Hardy. Hardy. Those guys, although, see, that's what I mean with levels. I don't think that they were top five. I think they were top ten. Top five that could win a fight on any given day are guys like Carlos Condit. That, you know, almost, he did drop GSP in the third round of that fight. Almost finished him. Or you, if not, Jake Shields does get you down like he got say, Maya down, he's, to he's going to win. that these guys, I mean, Carlos Condit was the beginning of the new era, you know? Who can do a little bit of everything, but he, you know, he lacked in his grappling. But there's, there's what, but, but no, but what that's the know. thing. He didn't lack in his grappling. If you look at his fights in WEC and other places, he finishes by submission. Now, when you put him in a top Too five, yeah, when you put him in a top five with guys that have world class wrestling, like GSP right. or Johnny Hendricks, see, a lot of people think Carlos Condit doesn't have grappling. But you're looking at his losses. In comparison to... To who? GSP, Hendricks, GSP? and the champion. Who's the champion now? At 170 times. Yeah. So those are the three people that made Carlos Condit look like he didn't have ground game. Those are the three best grapplers in the UFC. Who was his last fight? Who, who Listen, he, that's also... Who did who? he lose to? Who? Tango. That's uh, what... Carlos... Meyer. 
Maya made there him look go. terrible. Like, so he, he made him look horrible. Made him look horrible. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, listen. But Maya's one of the best in the world, though. Maya's one of the best. It's top in the world, five, but has a weakness, right? That's what makes GSP so special, though. That's he's also you could say he's one dimensional. He came from a karate background. No, he wasn't that one dimensional. No, he, he was had, the most yeah, because, complete because, fighter. Because, because he had he, great striking. That's why he. That's what. And he special. added great wrestling. That's what made him on so top special. of it. He yeah. was yeah. making things. So then, so then that's you're the, agreeing with he, me. He's the most no, complete no. fighter in UFC you're saying history. You're he fight the best. That's what I'm disagreeing. I'm saying that the talent around. Wasn't the best, no. And I think that uh, I can say that to Matt Hughes. But I think that GSP. today that right now, right better. now, one seventy, yeah, doesn't have as good caliber top five as it did a year and a half ago and two years ago. Right now, you're looking at guys that win a fight one day, Robbie Lawler lose a fight one day. You, the top five isn't what it was two years ago at one seventy. Other divisions have the best talent now, like. Uh, 205, not 205, I'm sorry, heavyweight used to be shit. Mm. Used to be just a bunch of fat slobs. Now these are some of the most talented guys. I think 155 is super tough. 55 now. is super tough. And a lot of guys don't even know a lot but of guys G that are coming up. When GSP was around the 170... Oh, yeah. When GSP he was around 170 yeah, guys like Koscheck, Fitch, you had really the top That's guys at guy, 170. That's another guy, Koscheck. Hit or miss. He was always hit till Woodley knocked him out. What do you mean? He was, he was no, always, uh, he gave that's... GSP his toughest fight until Hendricks. I mean, you know, on any given day. So Koscheck, he was, on a hit day, he lost. Yeah, but he okay. lost, but his only two, he has three losses. One was GSP, it, two to GSP, and then Woodley knocked him out. And um, his other loss was. Are you talking about the UFC? Yeah. You're talking about his losses only in the UFC? I no, want to talk about something more than that. I want to talk about something controversial. So let's.